My name is Laura Riley and I'm a senior occupational therapist at Acquired Brain Injury Ireland. At ABI Ireland, we understand the importance of resuming daily occupations after a brain injury. Vocational rehabilitation includes support with work, education and returning to volunteering after a brain injury. Participating in paid work provides social interaction, a meaningful routine, as well as enhancing your self-confidence. In this short video, I am going to introduce to you about ABI Ireland's top six strategies for returning to work after a brain injury. Number one, returning to work is a process, not a single event. Every brain injury is unique and each person's return to work timeline will vary. We recommend considering increasing your daily activities in preparation months in advance. So for example, for a person with a desk-based job, we recommend increasing your screen time on the computer gradually. Or for a person with a manual job, we recommend doing more manual projects to increase your physical capabilities in advance of returning to work. For example, starting off with light housework tasks before gradually transitioning to more demanding household tasks. Many of our participants choose to volunteer or do a course before resuming paid employment. Number two, choosing to disclose. It is your choice if you disclose your brain injury. However, you will need to consider if your symptoms impact yours or your colleagues' safety at work. By letting your employer know, it may allow you to receive reasonable accommodations. Reasonable accommodations means any adjustment to working arrangements, equipment or facilities to ensure an individual with a brain injury can continue to succeed at work. Examples of reasonable accommodations include having more regular rest breaks during the day or having a particular piece of equipment such as a laptop stand to ensure that you can continue to work. Number three, knowing your symptoms. Having a clear understanding of your symptoms and the strategies that will help support you in your journey is vital. Many symptoms after a brain injury are hidden, such as reduced concentration, fatigue, or difficulties with busy environments. Remember, everyone's symptoms will be unique to them. We recommend that you educate your employer and possibly your colleagues on your hidden symptoms so that they can best support you in your return to work. For example, you may have difficulties managing noise and need a quiet space in which to work. Number four, phased return. You should not return to work until you feel ready to do so. At ABI Ireland, we recommend that you return to work on a phased basis. This includes starting off with part-time hours with gradual increase over time, or starting with less complex work tasks and gradually increasing their complexity over time. Number five, communication. Regular honest feedback meetings with your employer are important. We recommend weekly or fortnightly check-ins. It's key to let your employer know early on if you're struggling so that this can be addressed and resolved. Number six, work-life balance. Work-life balance is an important consideration upon return to work. It is vital that you continue to take regular breaks and engage in enjoyable pursuits such as meeting friends, exercise or relaxing. It is crucial to avoid working beyond your work hours. Switching off from work and protecting your downtime will ensure that you avoid burnout. Within ABI Ireland, we offer a specialised vocational rehab assessment and rehabilitation service. This is called Step Ahead Plus. Step Ahead Plus is a free of charge service for people with an acquired brain injury. Step Ahead Plus is currently funded by the Government of Ireland with support from the Dormant Accounts Fund. At Step Ahead Plus, we can support you with your return to work education or volunteering after a brain injury. 
you can find all the information about our program on our web page, which is listed at the bottom of the screen. The first step of the service is a specialised assessment with an occupational therapist to explore the person's strengths and potential challenges in returning to work or education. From there, they will develop a personalised vocational plan where they work with a vocational assistant on their identified goals for returning to employment, training or education. The rehabilitation may involve teaching personalised strategies to manage memory, attention or fatigue in the workplace or education setting. Having strategies in place is vital to success. Depending on the person's situation, other areas that may be explored include interview skills, preparing a CV and cover letter, and how to disclose your brain injury. Assistive technology and ergonomics at work may also be looked at. Everyone's situation is unique. Some may be returning to a pre-injury role or education setting. Others may be searching for paid employment, voluntary work, or a place on a course or a training programme. After your brain injury, you may need to consider alternative work options, such as moving from full-time work to part-time work. Although you may not have the same financial reward, you will still have the joy and satisfaction of working and interacting with others. With your consent, we can make recommendations to your employer or education provider regarding reasonable accommodations, assistive technology or ergonomic considerations that you may benefit from. The Step Ahead Plus's programme overall aim is to promote inclusion in the community through paid employment, volunteering or return to education. You can download our Return to Work fact sheet on the website, which has further information on how to support your journey. Thank you.